I have some exciting collaborations coming up. So cute. One of these, I need to design one of these. Where do I look? <laughs> what? Hi, welcome to a new video. I've never really made a video like this before. I've never taken on a project like this. In this video, I kind of, I kind of walk you through the process of designing some merch for a local coffee shop called Proud Hound. One, I've never made merch. Two, I've never made a video of me walking you through almost any process. <laughs> Three, I've never made more digital art in my life. So this is kind of a fun one in my opinion. Grab your water while you watch it, it's kind of long, but I hope in some way an enjoyable watch for you. The merch that I talk about and design throughout this whole video is coming out this Monday which is when I'm releasing this video. Um, and let me double check on the date of that so I don't give you the wrong one. May 1st. This, all everything I designed in this video will be available for purchase on Proud Hound's website, May 1st, Monday. I won't have it on my own shop, but it will be on Proud Hound's website and I'll link all the stuff below. And you can check it out. This is my first time having actual wearable items that I've designed for sale, which is kind of crazy, right? So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Grab your water. Um, I think I already said that, but here's a second reminder for you. I'm, I'm happy to have you here, and I'd like you to drink some water while this freaking, what is it, 30 minute video is on? What the heck? <laughs> like the video before I get started. Um, subscribe to my channel. It's so, so good. It's so good. There's not a better channel on this platform. So if you're not subscribed to this one, why are you even on YouTube? Is that all I wanna say? Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's been two months since I've posted a video. But yeah, enjoy this one. Happy to, happy to be here, everyone. See ya. I have some exciting collaborations coming up. Well, they're exciting because I never do collaborations. Like I always just work for me and also because they're just exciting in general. So my friend Dan owns Proud Hound, which is a local coffee shop here. And I may be really biased by saying it's the best coffee shop in Cincinnati, but also I really mean it. So cute inside. And they have the best matcha out of all of the coffee shops in Cincinnati, in my opinion, and their coffee's always good, their food's good. I mean, like, I could go on and on. So cute. So Dan reached out to me and was like, do you want to design our merch, our next merch drop? And I was like, um, yes, but also I have no experience doing this. Like, I've never even made, like, any type of tangible merch. Like, nothing wearable, nothing that's not flat paper besides like my little keychains, which is like the most low key thing I could choose. We met up last week and he kind of told me what he wants to have designed and the look of it and some of his ideas and we're gonna do it, which is crazy. So I'm gonna start working on that. I have until next Friday to finish my designs. Today is Tuesday. Today I'm gonna, I'm gonna look through all of my sketchbooks and gather up all my, all my doggy drawings. Uh, maybe take some pictures of them and just collect them so I have them all together and maybe try and make something out of some of those because I have a lot of little sketches of dogs that I think would make they'd be good pieces for the Proud Hound um, merch so that's what I'm gonna do right now okay I'm gonna look through my Nina Cosford sketchbook, and then I'm gonna look through my mega sketchbook. We're gonna go with this one first because I think there are less dogs in this. I 
this I've never really used for anything, but I think it's so cute. We were talking about doing like a dark green pink theme, so maybe I could change the coloring on this. Could be cute. This dog is like, I think I'll use this. I've redrawn it for the piece I put in the Send Me Across the Sea show. I did use it, but not really for anything printed. Now we're moving on to the big sketchbook. This is gonna be harder to get into frame because it's actually so big. Okay, I haven't worked in this since November. I haven't worked in this since November, that's kind of crazy. So Dan said he wanted to do like a dark green and pink theme, which is just so cute. I'm really excited to work with these colors to make a design. And I feel like it really suits, I feel like it really suits what I'm into right now. So we're doing a t-shirt and he wants it to be, have a green printed with pink and then a pink printed design with green. A beige tote bag. And that's gonna be it, which it is a few designs, but I draw and design stuff really quickly. And I have so many dog designs just laying around, so it's gonna be fine. I didn't film, I missed me. I was writing this list while I was talking. See this list? I was writing it. And I was just filming this blank page, which I think I, that's kind of cool. I kind of nailed that. Okay, I just finished up like preliminary sketching. I ended up just drawing a bunch of new dogs. I don't know what direction I wanna go at all. In our initial conversation, Dan mentioned like diner vibes. So at the end, I kind of tried to gather some like diner things, um, like with the little caddy that they put like ketchup and mustard and like napkins in. I thought it'd be cute to like place a little dog in that and maybe like place a couple dogs around it. I think that would be cute, but I don't know if it would be like really busy. Um, and then I did like a diner chair with a dog on it. I don't necessarily love this dog, but I thought the idea of including diner chairs would be cute because I was initially kind of trying to mix like dogs, dogs and food. And like, this isn't, like this is really, I think this is cute with like the gingham napkin and the plate and toast, but like putting a dog on food and like in an edible space is just kind of weird. I think it'd be better like off to the side. Um, and then like, I thought it would be cute to do Proud Hound in like a vintage diner sign. Cause I love old signs and maybe combine that with some more diner imagery. And then he kind of mentioned trying to figure out how to mix my little devil baby drawings with a dog, but it, they kind of just look like cats without like dog ears. I don't want to like make more ears come out of that. I think it might be weird. They just kind of look like cats, unfortunately. And then we kind of like touched on cutie babies. So I did a couple of those. I do think those were cute and I'd like to kind of expand more on that. Uh, QP, QP dog mix. But I feel like I'm kind of heading in a more concrete direction now than before I started the sketching. I really like this one. 
It's not giving breakfast at all, but I think it could be cute on a tote, especially for like a spring look. So yeah, I'm, I'm having a little trouble mixing breakfast tea imagery with dogs. I don't know why. I felt like I would like, it would feel easier. But I don't want to do like a boring like mug look. I feel like, you know, mugs are cool and all. But maybe I could like jazz up the mug with like more vintage patterns. Like there's a lot of checkerboard and gingham and maybe like look up some vintage mugs and recreate it and then like hide like the proud hound words in here. I don't know why I'm using highlighter. Like figure out how to write proud hound on the mug, but like make it more um, like in a design or something. That's my design. Heading out for the day. My brain's a little fried from working on those little doggies. I worked a little bit farther past the sketchbook spread I shared, not much. This is my remote for my heat, I'm about to turn it back on. Cause I turn it off when I'm filming, so it's not buzzing, genius. Hello, it is February 15th. I came to the studio today and immediately started working on the Proud Hound stuff. I drew two designs digitally today. Yesterday I did this one. I think this is so cute. So cute. I'm not like, it's not like finalized, like I haven't cleaned it up. And then I did this one. I think this one's cute. Do I think it's as cute as the other one? No, um, still cute. I like the vibe, you know, it's fine. And then I worked on this one. I think this one's cute too. I just like really liked it when I was making it. Now I'm looking at it and I'm like, is it winning? Like I thought it would. Um, I like the like proud hound cloud vibe. My heater's coming on, I'm gonna leave it on. And like, it's not colored cleanly. Like I just kind of blocked in colors. But I really like this dog drawing. I just like, like, it's like cute and serious at the same time. And like, he looks kind of, kind of tiny because the fence is so big. Um, I think these three designs would be really cute as a sticker set. Um, they would all be kind of different shapes and they don't necessarily have to have like, like this doesn't have to have the Proud Hound um, words on it for the sticker because that might make the sticker kind of weird shapes. Um, I think they're really cute. I'm happy with the direction I'm going. I do need to include like more breakfast vibes. I'm not designing these for any particular item. Like I'm not designing the shirt and the tote and then the stickers. I'm just kind of designing some stuff and then I'm gonna place them as I see fit. Because if I try to design the individual items, I think it will kind of stress me out. I don't know why, but just like making the designs I already made work to fit on other things just makes more sense to me for some reason. So that's kind of, of where I'm going. I really, I'm gonna try and make like a breakfasty type one. I'm thinking like, this is what I'm envisioning, okay? I'm thinking like, I have the, if, you, if you're familiar with my work, I have a piece where there's like a tool, a vase of tulips and a little devil baby sitting next to it. So I'm thinking 
a, like a tablescape with like a vase with like a couple flowers in it um, like a plate with an egg or a piece of toast or like a piece of toast with an egg on it and then like a little doggy sitting by it I think that would be cute I also like like that kind of thing it feels like it would be a good triangular composition uh, so I'm gonna do that just pull one of my doggy sketches from my from my thing maybe even include like a little mug in there I don't know working on something for someone else is like a very new experience for me but I think it's fun so far I mean Dan literally gave me cute doggy flowers as the prompt so like there's no way I won't like it, but it's fun. I am working on finalizing the designs I've made so far. I'm currently finalizing this one. Um, I just picked like a concrete color palette I was just kind of guessing which colors I was using on my like preliminary drawings I showed earlier. Preliminary. This is what I sent to Dan and I was like, hey, this is the idea. And then this is like my more, this is my more final one. Like I added some cute details and kind of clean it up just a bit. I still want it to feel like hand drawn. I don't want it to feel like I don't want it to feel like graphic-y, design-y, vector-y feeling. I want it to feel more like a drawing and more like cute draw. Like, I drew this vibe. Does, is that coming across? Um, I also finalized this one, which I'm kind of, this one's kind of growing on me now. This was the original. I like switched the blue up and some of the greens. And this is the... The one that I that I just finalized, much cleaner. I'm a little torn on like the cleaner look, but still like even when I I shoot for clean, I still kind of hit like a little bit of imperfection, which is what I what I'm looking for. I just feel like feeling the artist hand in designs is so nice because I feel like a lot of especially merch design is really graphic and you kind of lose the like, it looks like someone drew this kind of thing. So we're going for that. Am I gonna achieve it? We'll see. It's Thursday, February 16th. Um, I'm working on mocking up some ideas for like where to place the design. So I put them on a couple tote bags. He wants to do like a wide tote bag, a beige one. While these are very cute on there, I feel like I still need to simplify them because I don't know how many colors we can print. And like, especially this one has a lot of colors in it. I need to figure out t-shirts, which is harder because the designs I did don't really stand alone very well as just line art. Like they're a little bit confusing without the colors because they're just busy. I didn't film a ton of my process today because I was working so hard brain-wise. Like design stuff just doesn't come naturally to me and I also have like no experience so it's like a big, it's a big workout for my brain. But I put all the designs on tote bags to see which Dan would like better. I showed you the top two and then I made the bottom two. Um, and then I worked on <laughs> All these colorways for the t-shirt. This one came out great, okay? Working on the pink background, I was like, cool, this is almost like paper. Awesome. And then working on the green background, 
I've never really worked on a dark background with limited colors. Um, and I was trying to make it two. I was trying to make it two colors and it just wasn't working. The front of it looking cute, the back of it way too confusing looking. And then I just kept, kept working. I just kept trying to make it work, but it looks crazy. Like I have to have more than two, I think for this, for me, logically, maybe someone like a, a professional could, you know, figure this out. But this one, very cute. I did do this one with three colors and it kind of looks a little better because you can like see the dog instead of it being just like a mass in the middle. You see what I'm saying? And I also thought about putting this on the front of it with the little Proud Hound logo and the dude like here instead of the matching dog. Dan said that he thinks that this design would look cute on a shirt. Maybe try and make it work for the green shirt so when I come back from lunch, I maybe will try to do this on the dark green shirt. We'll see. It's really dreary and rainy today. I still have my coat on and everything. I don't have to have these done until next Friday and it's Thursday today. So I have like enough time and I know I can finish it, but I am just like so focused on this task that I can't stop working on it. I just kind of want it to be done. I don't really know why. I have a vlog I need to edit and post soon and I'm just avoiding that by working on this stuff. So I'm not mad about it. It's just like what, what I'm doing, don't know why. But I'm gonna go home and eat, uh, eat some soup. All I cook right now is soup, so I can eat it really quick and have little lunches or dinners if I need them. So I always have a pot of soup around. Life hack. We're back. The last thing I need to tackle and like get an idea of what I wanna do is the mug thermos thing that he wants to make. It's like this one. I saved this post because I need some like inspiration on what to put on it. And I can pretty much do full color it looks like. Uh, I don't know what kind of thermos it is. <laughs> hmm. One of these. One of these, I need to decide one of these. I need to decide what color would be good. I don't really know how to tell like what's in stock or Okay, there's uh, plenty of colors, like the green or the pink would be really cute, or the popcorn. I'll probably choose this buttered popcorn color, because I can work really well on like a pale yellow. And I brought <laughs> one of my favorite mugs with me, because I thought it would be good inspiration on like keeping it chill, because like this is one of my favorite things I have. And it's really just doodly and fun. And when Dan and I were talking about the thermos, we were talking about just doing like a bunch of little doggies and like maybe some breakfast themed stuff and like diner themed stuff. So I need to kind of like get some stuff together. I can just like literally draw every dog that I have ever drawn and just put it together in one. Um, that will take a while. Also, I could use like the three mug design I already did because it's it's a longer design and it'd probably wrap around really well. So we'll see. I'm currently recording this voiceover in April and we're still in February footage for this this whole process. I cannot believe how much digital artwork I did in such a short amount of time. I, <laughs> I, I can't believe I did this. There's something about digital artwork that just fries my brain. One, it's very challenging for me, so I'm, I think I'm working a little bit harder brain-wise, and then staring at the screen for so long. I don't know if you've noticed throughout this video, but while I'm talking, like I completely zone out and my eyes don't work well. Like I'm not looking at the camera, I'm just looking kind of away from it and staring and not blinking. And I think that's from staring at a screen for so long. So I don't know how the digital artists out there do it. I. I struggled, I really struggled. Um, this design, I initially drew it in the wrong size. So what you're watching me make is a little different from what the final design looked like. I had to make it a little bit longer. I don't know where I got the measurements that I was working with here, but they were wrong. So I had to redraw this design like 
so many times. It felt like 10. Um, I also did three different colorways for it because I didn't know what kind of look I was going for. I was going for a simple initially with this green tone coloring. And then I also did this full color version, which I think turned out really cute. Dan preferred the all green version, which I thought was adorable. And I was really into this light yellow and green look. I thought it was very springy and fresh and the green went with it and my color palette all went together. Sweet. Um, but when we went to order these thermoses, the popcorn was sold out, so we had to switch the colors to a pink thermos with a blue design on it. It's It turned out cute, don't get me wrong, but I really, really preferred the yellow and green. And Dan did too, so we were both kind of sad. Um, I have since gotten the thermos, and it's so nice. It's so nice to use. And the print came out okay. Don't love it. Um, but it did come out okay. This day I went to Proud Hound and just like worked on all of my final mock-ups for the merch. Um, and Dan and I worked through the thermos this day and the coloring in person. Sweet little time. I, I, I kind of stopped filming my process after this, so I'm gonna have to film like a little fill-in clip because I, I just stopped filming everything that was happening, so bear with me. I'm about to do a big update clip. Okay, I, I'm currently I'm currently editing this video, and there's a huge hole in the footage because I finished all my design work, sent it to Dan, and then we had to just like wait for the merch to come in. So it's it's April now. I finished the green shirt design, which I'll share on screen. We did the little doggy and the flowers. And then I asked Dan if we could do the pink shirt in a cream because I felt like the colors came out a little bit better that way. And then I finalized the tote design at Proud Hound, like you just saw. And then I just sent it all to Dan and then he did the manufacturing, which I'm so happy I didn't have to do that. The whole reason why I never do merch is because I don't like working with people that have to make the merch. I just like to draw and paint. So Dan submitted all the designs, he got everything rolling. Um, like I said, we did have to switch the thermos to a pink thermos with a blue design. And then the thermos was the first thing I saw of the merch and Dan brought it out to me. And I was with a bunch of my friends at Proud Hound. And there's something about, I don't know if this is relatable, let me know. When you see your own artwork, especially printed on something, your initial response is like, ew. I don't know if that's just me. I'm assuming it, some of you may probably relate to me, right? My initial response was ew, didn't like it. Um, the print just didn't come out as vibrant and readable as I envisioned it to be. But honestly, as I've been using the thermos, the thermos that we printed on was so, is so nice. It's really nice to use and it makes me like the design better. That's really grown on me since. Um, and then like a week ago, Dan brought all of the merch to my studio and we did a photo shoot. We had Dan, Dan's wife, Sarah, James, and our friend Jess and David, the other owner of Proud Hound come. And this particular day, I was in the worst mood of my life. Um, I was PMSing. It was blistering hot in my studio. I, I was feeling kind of nervous to see the merch because I felt bad that my response to like a collaboration between me and Dan, I was like, ew, you know? So I was kind of dreading that. We came to my studio, did the photo shoot. We wore the shirts, we took pictures of the stickers. It all looks really cute together. And the cream shirt turned out so cute. I love the cream shirt. Um, the green shirt, not my favorite, and I'll tell you why. The pink printed on the green shirt turned kind of purple, like there was no... I've seen other screen prints where like they put white underneath and then they print the lighter color on the white, so it will still like show. But the pink ink just kind of like mixed with the green shirt. And then the green that I put in my drawing like looked good digitally, 
but when the green was on the actual green shirt, it doesn't stand out almost at all. So the design gets a little lost on the green shirt. I feel medium about it. Dan really likes it, which makes me really happy and other people think it's cute. So at least there's that. We have that going for us. I feel good about that. And then the tote bag, I envisioned the print to be just like a little bit larger, but Dan said the screen printer he works with can only print a certain size, which is a little bit small. But I have been using the tote bag as well and it's been very cute. I brought it to Philly this past week as my little food bag and every time I looked at it, I was like, that's pretty cute. Um, so it just takes me a long time to warm up to my own designs. But yeah, that's my little update. Feels really weird to like update it so quickly in this like chunk of video, but whatever. <laughs> Tonight I'm going to Proud Hound and I'm going to film some B-roll for this video. I don't have any like videos of Proud Hound. I just need to go and film the shop so you guys know how cute it is. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna try and film some of the products in the shop as well. And that's gonna be the end of this whole project for me. Um, so I was happy to do this whole experience with Dan, with someone that I know and can talk to in however way I want to and not have to feel like I need to be like professional. So it was really nice to experience. Looking back on me designing the, the stuff, I had so much fun designing it when I started it. I had so much fun designing it, so all in all good experience. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to get any thing from this collaboration, all of it is available online on Proud Hunt's website. I will link it below. And if you are ever in the Cincinnati area or you are in the Cincinnati area, go to Proud Hunt. They have good breakfast. They have late night Friday and Saturday, great coffee. I'm, I'm a Proud Hound lover. I'm a big Proud Hound fan. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, it's not just because I'm friends with the owner. Yeah, thank you for watching this video. I wanna give a big shout out to my little puppy patrons who supported me through this whole process and, and supported me while I was absent on YouTube. So thank you all, much love. I hope everyone's had a good couple months without me and I hope you have a good couple more months, whether I'm there or not. Bye. See ya. Sweet. Oh, you're gonna smell so cute. I should have to do that. You just like whatever. Never used to do it before. <laughs> <laughs>